Hi guys, this is Vishal. Welcome to my channel, the Java Tech Learning. Confluent platform is a distributed system consisting of servers and clients that communicate via high-performance TCP network protocol. You can install Confluent on environment of your choice. It can be deployed on physical Linux server in an on-premise environment or you can opt for cloud environment. In all my previous tutorials, I have been using Confluent in an on-premise environment. That means I have installed Confluent setup on virtual Linux server running on my local machine. So today we'll look into another choice that is cloud environment. And for that purpose, I'm going to use Confluent cloud platform. Confluent cloud is a simple, resilient and scalable streaming data platform based on Apache Kafka delivered as a fully managed service. In a simple word, I can say it's Apache Kafka as a service. Pay only what you use and when you use. Confluent Cloud provides a web interface called Confluent Cloud Console, which helps you manage cluster resources, creating Kafka topics, billings, etc. It also provides command line interface and REST APIs to manage Kafka topics and connectors when you create it. So before we actually kick off connecting and streaming a data with the Confluent Cloud, the first step we have to do is procure it. Like I said, it's a cloud environment. We have to pay as per our usage. So for a demo purpose, I'm going to use its trial version with the basic features. Right now here I'm on Google. So if you type Confluent Cloud, go to this link, fourth one I guess, HTTPS Confluent.cloud. Click on this link. It will take you to the login page of Confluent Cloud. All right, this is how the login page looks. If you already have an account, you need to type email ID and then password and you enter into your dashboard, the first page of your Confluent Cloud. But if you don't have, just click on this, sign up and try it for free. So when you click on this, it will take you to this page. Okay, here you need to sign up, enter full name, company, email ID, country, password and start free. Once you click on this start free, it will initiate an email verification. Once you click on the to verify email that you receive on your you know uh, inbox, then the verification is complete. Then come back to this login page and log into your account. So I have already I already have this account. So I will simply log in. Okay. So this is my email ID. I'll click the next. I'll type my password. Login. Okay, now it's taking me to the first page. Okay, so this is how the first page looks. Welcome to Confluent Cloud. Okay, so if I simply click on view environments. Okay, so there is a default environment provided by Confluent. Okay, now I don't want to use this default. I want to create my own for my development purpose. Okay. So I will click on this add cloud environment. Okay. So if I click on this add cloud, I'll say development. Okay. And click on create. So now the, I have created the environment. Okay. So here you see it's asking to stream governance package. One is essential. One is advanced. Of course, advanced is payable. I'm going to go with the basic one, which is free at the moment for demo purpose. So I'll click on this begin configuration, choose the region and the provider for it. Uh, you can choose whatever you want as per your comfortability. Uh, let's go with the AWS region. You say Ohio, right? You can choose any others, but it requires upgrade and you need to pay. So as of now, we'll go with the basic features, like I said. So click on Ohio and click on enable. Right. So this is your first page of your environment. Right. And at the right hand side, you see there is an environment name and ID given. And also, if you go down here, you got schema registry URL created. So this is going to be your schema registry. All right. Which is we are going to use in our Spring Boot application. I'll explain that later. Now, next step is to create your cluster. So this is about environment. 
we only created the environment we haven't installed or we haven't you know set up our brokers yet so second step like i said is create cluster so here you see there is an option create cluster on my own so i'll click on this so here there are three packages it is asking basic standard dedicated standard and dedicated are payable of course per hour basis so right now i'm going to stick with basic so click on begin configuration again it will ask the cluster the region and the provider all right so again i'll choose aws ohio right and single zone okay click continue here it is asking your payment card details but as of now you can skip it you're using the trial version so you don't need this so click on this skip payment now cluster name uh, i'll say something confluent underscore cluster underscore one okay and simply launch cluster okay this is your dashboard as of now you can discard this so this is how your dashboard looks as of now we don't have any producer or consumer of the data that means we don't have any client at the moment so there is no throughput there is no storage consumption nothing okay so this is how your first page looks like when you create your cluster okay now here there are different options like dashboard networking api keys cluster settings right so if i go to api keys right here you need to create a key why do we need a key because when you're going to connect to this confluent hub your cloud environment from your application you're going to connect over some secure network right so there you need an api key and the secret in order to connect to this platform right so click on create key okay there are two options granular and global for a development purpose it's recommended to go with the global so i'll click on next okay you see it has created an api key for me okay so you can download it so i'll give confluent underscore api underscore key right the description and i'll download and continue okay it will ask to download uh, in your local storage so i'll give name here as well confluent underscore api key okay and save right your api key is downloaded as well as save in your cluster okay so this we will use when we connect to this application using spring boot okay i'll go to dashboard again right now if i click on this schema registry okay there are no schemas of course i'm not going to create a schema from here okay so if i click on this environment again here you see there are two one is a default which is already created and one development which we have created so if you click on this again on the right side like i said earlier you see here there is a schema registry url which you have to use in your application when as and when you are dealing with the schema avro schemas okay but here again in order to connect to the schema registry you again need an api key so here is an option okay click on add key again here click on create key the new key is created for your schema registry you can describe the name here schema registry key download and continue okay click on save so you got api key for your broker as well as you got api key for your schema registry now if i go to home okay if you go down here you see 
your cluster if i click on cluster this is your page okay now i go to another option here is topics if i go to topics as of now we don't have any topic we haven't created right so let's create one topic okay so i'll click on create topic let's say we'll give a name confluent dot spring dot boot dot sample dot topic okay partitions i'm going to give three okay i'm going with the basic you know configurations and the default settings so uh, no need to check the advanced setting but if you want to see what are the advanced settings if you can set up like storage like cleanup policy retention policy message size and all you can you know give it here but as of now i'll stick with the default values so i'll simply go and create the topic all right topic has successfully created now here it's asking do you want to define a data contract that means do you want to create a schema so as of now i want to skip it right your topic is created no passages we have if you want to check with partition zero or anything no messages because we there is no producer for this topic so this is all about confluent cloud we have created the development environment we have created the confluent cluster also we have created our topic now next is to connect to this cluster using our spring boot application so i'm going to use this spring kafka avro producer consumer application which i have already created earlier i was using this application along with the confluent setup which was running on my local machine but now i'm going to use the confluent cluster which we created on cloud environment okay rest remain the same the only changes we need to do in our properties where we are going to connect to the our cluster okay so i'll open this application yaml right i have added some values already first like i mentioned the topic which we have created confluent.springboot.sample.topic right here in the spring kafka bootstrap server we need to give the server or the cluster name right the server so if i go to this cluster right here if you go to this cluster settings click on cluster settings you see there is a bootstrap server name so i'll copy from here and put it okay along with it we need to give api keys right api key in secret because here it's not going to be a plain connectivity it's going to be a some secure connectivity so that protocol is sasl underscore ssl it's one of type of ssl connectivity which is going to uh, under you know going to do a tls encryption now here the ssl jas configuration we need to provide it's going to be like username password authentication so username is, is like a key and password is a secret i have already given that username and key here okay so security protocol is sasl underscore ssl okay mechanism is plain and config is like a plain login module like a username and password so api key and secret i have already given which i have downloaded on my machine right so next thing is mention schema registry url so here under kafka property schema registry url here we need to mention the url so if i go again here development if i click on this development you see here is a schema registry url so i'll copy and paste now this schema registry again required an authentication again this authentication is a user info like username password authentication so we need to add few more properties along with it first one is basic auth credentials source that is equal to user info and again basic auth credentials user my bad basic auth 
user info is going to be your API key and secret. So this is the API key and this is the secret. So I have already added here. Okay. Rest thing like your auto offset reset, group ID, key deserializer, everything remains same. Okay. This is not changing along with your cluster, right? The only change we need to do is how we are going to connect to our cluster, right? Topic name I have already mentioned. So I'll try to start this application. All right. So it's starting up. Okay, so application is started, right? And you see consumer is also trying to connect to that topic, right? The partitions are assigned. You see the log, latest log. All three partition are assigned to same consumer right because there's only one consumer running and no offset or no data found because we haven't published it yet okay so I'll simply clear the logs okay we have this rest controller here which is to publish the data so I'll go to my postman and right here try to send some data okay so if I click on send I'll go back you see it's going to connect to my producer okay right it, it's trying to connect to that kafka cluster okay it is produced the data you see the message is successful along with it it is also received because the consumer is also active so we have received that event from topic okay so if i try to do it again right uh, along with a different quantity okay right send check again you see two messages are consumed two messages are produced if i go to my cluster okay if i click on this cluster maybe it will not fully show the throughput because only two you know events have been published but if i go to topic if I click on this, okay, here you see two bytes per second, but there is a, some spike that means we have produced and it is capturing that. If I go to messages, zero, partition zero, okay, let's see, no, uh, partition one, no, okay, it was in partition one, if I click on this again. You see, there are messages which we have produced, okay, and it has already created schema because I'm producing an Avro data. So, the contract is created, okay. If you click on fields, everything you see here, right. So, this was the schema. So here I'm able to connect to my cluster, which is created also able to produce the data on the topic. And at the same time, I was able to consume. So this way we can use a confluent cloud environment to perform a real time data streaming in your application. Thank you for watching.